It's after dark and you know what that means. It's time to stay up late and be nocturnal with Cal. Watch everything she puts up. Hello and welcome to After Dark with Cal. I am Cal, of course, who else would I be? Hello! Um, so today I'm going to be reading you guys uh, a poem I found, that well, a poem I wrote like a couple of years back that I happened to come across when I was cleaning out my room. So that's what's going to happen today. Um, I hope you enjoy the poem. There's a story in the forest little one little one there's a story in the forest sleeping child are you listening are you listening do you hear the trees are whispering wake up and listen to their story there's a story in the forest little one little one there's a story in the forest sleeping child do you hear the willow weeping? And the birds they are singing. Wake up, wake up and listen to their cries. There's a story in the forest, little one, little one. There's a story in the forest, sleeping child. Now you're up, the trees are sleeping. And they are dreaming of their friends who have fallen into dust. And from that came the paper I am writing on. I hope you like my poem song thing. I, I like it. I hope you liked it. And um, that's about it for this episode of After Dark. So I'll see you when the sun sets and the stars come out. Bye babes. Peace. Have a wonderful week. nice about trees. About trees? <laughs> the trees' roots go deep into the ground, preventing erosion and landslides. If not for trees, all these beautiful mountains would crumble into nothing in a matter of hundreds of years, and all the towns at their foot base area would be destroyed, just like China. <laughs> just like China? Yeah, there's thousands of mudslides in China. Like Every other week, it's 47 million people die in a mudslide in China. So. <laughs> Okay, so we should protect the trees. Yeah, unless you don't like hills. Then cut down all the trees and fuck up the grass too. Grass is also a strong deterrent to erosion.